So I know that I'm a bit late to this topic. I know that a lot of people have already talked about the OnePlus 6, but I feel like I should still talk about it because, like I say in my other videos, better late than never. So if you somehow don't know what's going on, basically OnePlus just announced their new phone called the OnePlus 6, and it's going to be coming out relatively soon. And when I say relatively soon, I mean as I'm recording this in four days, so on April 22nd, 2018. The phone is quite different from the OnePlus 6, and if you want all the details, I'll have a link to an article that talks all about the OnePlus 6 and its specs and all that in the description. But I'm still going to be talking about most of the important things about the OnePlus 6, so don't click off just yet. So starting off with the most obvious thing about the OnePlus 6, it has a notch, and that may be a good thing, that may be a bad thing. If you've been watching my content for a while now, you know that I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the notch. I prefer the way the OnePlus 5T looked, with its sort of like thin bezel at the top and the bottom, and there was just no singular notch just at the top. However, this time with the notch, I don't know how to feel about it. Personally, I think that the notch is better executed than quite a lot of other phones, but I still think that the best executed notch out there, like in smartphones in general, is the essential phone. In my opinion, I just like having how tiny the front facing camera is. And on this phone, it's still there, but you know, it's not the biggest or the smallest thing I've ever seen for a notch. It's not really a deal breaker for me, and I don't think it's gonna be a deal breaker for most people. So continuing on with the display, it does have a 1080p resolution, and it's basically a very similar panel, from what I can tell, to the one on the OnePlus 5T. There is a bit of differences, like when it comes to inches, the screen on the OnePlus 6 compared to the OnePlus 5T is about 0.2 inches bigger. And it just has just a few more pixels more than the OnePlus 5T. So yeah, they're, it's, they're basically the same display. There's not really that different. So obviously this time the OnePlus 6 has the Snapdragon 845, which is the newest Snapdragon processor, and the OnePlus 5T, which came out last year, has the last generation, which would be the 835. So yeah, they're not really too exactly different, they're both octa-cores, but you know, the Snapdragon 845 is just a bit um, faster. It's at 2.8 GHz compared to 2.45, but being honest, it's probably not going to be that big of a difference. They both have the same amount of RAM, and they both have the same amount of internal storage when you get the base model. That of course being 64 gigabytes. So moving on to the camera, there's not really much we can say about here because not that many OnePlus 6 shots have been revealed. Being honest, the shots look okay, they don't look terrible, but being honest, there's not really that big of a difference from what I can tell from the pictures, but who knows, we might actually get our hands on this phone and it may be way better. Both of the rears are still 16 megapixels, and they both have dual LEDs for the rear flash, and the front facing camera on both phones is also 16 megapixels, so the cameras, on at least on paper, seem pretty similar. The OnePlus 6 comes with Oxygen OS 5.1, unlike the 4.7 version that came with the OnePlus 5T, and it comes with Android 8.1 Oreo, unlike on the OnePlus 5T, which came with Android 7.1.1. They both have the same Wi-Fi speeds, they both have similar Bluetooth connections, and basically stuff like NFC, USB, OTG, and the number of SIMs are the same. Now the colors on the OnePlus 6 have been revamped. This time you can get the mirror black, the midnight black, or the silk white, while on the OnePlus 5T, I'm pretty sure you could only just get the midnight black. So yeah, it's not really a huge deal on the colors. Personally, if I were to get one of these phones, I would get the midnight black, just because I don't like the glossy finish of the mirror black, but being honest, out of all of them, I just don't really like the glass back too much, and there isn't really wireless charging, so it just, it kind of seems like a waste. I've seen phones that are way cheaper than both the OnePlus 5T and the OnePlus 6 that all have wireless charging, so that is a bit disappointing. And of course, they both have the same battery size. Now, while the OnePlus 5T launched on November of 2017, the OnePlus 6, like I said, will be launching in four days from now, so... On Tuesday, you'll be able to get your hands on the brand new OnePlus 6 from OnePlus themselves. Now pricing for the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 6 is going to be a bit different. While the OnePlus 5T costed a pretty decent 500 bucks, which for what you're getting, that was really good, the OnePlus 6 is going to be $530, which probably doesn't sound like that big of a jump, but in real practical use, you can probably imagine that every dollar that's added to that is going to hurt you a bit more. And when I say hurt, I mean when it comes to your wallet. You're going to feel 
that purchase more. And because the OnePlus 6 is not on that $500 price point, or even below that, it's no longer a like budget smartphone. The OnePlus 5T was already pushing that trend. Now I would say that the OnePlus 6 is more of a mid-tier smartphone. It's not definitely not a high-end when it comes to price at least, but still, it's no longer in that budget gray area. So what do I think of the OnePlus 6? Well, I think that from what I saw so far, it looks like it's just going to be a better version of the OnePlus 5T. However, I think that the OnePlus 5T is probably going to be better in some ways to some people than the OnePlus 6, mainly in the notch. A lot of people don't like the notch, and that makes sense. Now, there is a feature in the OnePlus 6's settings where you can sort of like disable the notch because the screen the blacks are really black on the screen so they kind of just like put a little bar at the top so you don't really see the notch that kind of masks it but being honest i think most people who really don't like the notch would probably be fine with the oneplus 5t and the oneplus 5t is still a very fast phone so it's not like the oneplus 5t is a bad phone it's just that on paper the oneplus 6 is of course that next generation lead so will i be picking up the oneplus 6 well I actually have no idea. Personally, I'm just actually waiting it out right now just to see what smartphones come out. I've been considering the Huawei P20, I've been considering the Essential Phone, I've been considering so many smartphones, and I don't really know what I'm going to go for. However, probably one of my favorite parts about the OnePlus 6 is that it has a new thing that's coming along with it, and that is OnePlus Bullet Headphones. From what I can tell, OnePlus Bullet Headphones are going to release alongside the OnePlus 6, and they're basically like these magnetic headphones that you attach together, kind of like Apple's Beats option, where, you know, like the earbuds that you just kind of stitch together? Those, they're kind of just like that, and, but the only difference is that they're made by OnePlus, and they're 30 bucks cheaper. They also use USB Type-C, and from what I can tell, they look like my type of earbud option. And I've been considering getting wireless earbuds for a while, and I think that this might be one of the redeeming qualities about the OnePlus 6, even though I don't think that it comes with the OnePlus 6, it might, I have no idea, to make me want to invest more in OnePlus products. However, what do you think of the OnePlus 6? Let me know in the comments. If you're going to be getting one, please let me know why in the comments too, because every opinion matters. I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, then please check out some of my social medias linked in the description, and see you.